All right, this is going to be a video of an unboxing of um, something that I don't know what's in here. Well, I kind of do know, but you guys don't know. Sounds like Legos. Uh, <laughs> sounds like Legos, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and do the unboxing for this thing. This actually came all the way from Hong Kong. Um, it took a couple of days for this thing to ship here to the United States. That's where I live. So, um, this is kind of weird. Ah, do I really need this? I don't really need this. So, I've been actually been wanting this for quite some time. Um, it's wrapped in styrofoam. Weird, but, uh, okay, so, you guys can see it right there, it's a Tamiya product, so, okay, so, let's see how am I going to get this thing out, so, I'm trying to rip the box itself, I don't want to do that, so try, okay, there we go. There you go, oh, that's quite interesting. Uh, it's basically, they just took pieces of styrofoam and just taped it to make it look like a rectangular prism. Hmm, interesting, I've never seen that actually done before. Uh, but here it is, here's un unraveling of it. This is actually a Tamiya product, like I said. And uh, this is the Toyota Hilux Surf SSRG. Um, like I said in my previous video on my other Hilux Surf unboxing, this is actually technically a Forerunner. Um, yeah, it does say Hilux Surf, but in Japan, these are what we call, what's, that's what they call Forerunners over there. So, yeah, so this one actually, it's not a second gen. This Forerunner is actually a third gen. Uh, which is the one that came from 1996 to 2002 before it became the fourth gen in 2003. So this one is the the generation that came after my second gen, which is my 95. This was the the 96 to 02 uh, model year. So yeah, the reason why I got a Tamiya product. Uh, a main Tamiya product. I mean, I I, I use Tamiya paints uh, for polycarbon RC body uh, RC body paints to paint my RC cars, but I actually never had a an actual Tamiya uh, product, an actual uh, you know, full on product aside from paint. Um, I know Tamiya is also known for their old vintage style RCs and also model cars. And trucks uh, I'm not really into the um, uh, what do you call this I wasn't really into the whole model car thing until um, until I actually saw you know to me a products of forerunner so I was like eh, since I'm a huge forerunner fan I decided to get one so try it myself so I'm gonna go ahead and show you uh, on a different camera angle. I'm gonna take the camera off the of the tripod and show you guys what's inside. Okay, so here's the Tamiya Toyota 4Runner or Hilux Surf SSRG. Um, here's the contents. It's not a lot actually, to my surprise, but um, here are the features, here are the stuff that you have uh, out of the box, which is the, the wheels, tires, the chassis, the motor. Uh, actually, quite interestingly, I this is actually a. They even have electronics on it. Hmm, cool, awesome. And here's the main body itself. This is the like I said. This is the third gen Toyota 4Runner. So that's what it looks like. It looks like it might require some painting. I think I 
don't know if it does require painting. It might have stickers. It might. Oh yes, it does. Just like my second gen Hilux Surf Tamiya style uh, product, this one does not have any Forerunner badges. It's just as a big old Surf logo, Hilux Surf, no Forerunners I see here. Makes me sad though, because I like Forerunners. Well, let's just put it this way. Hilux Surf is just basically a Japanese Forerunner. If you ever go to Japan and runner, uh, driver on the streets or walk the, in the streets of Tokyo or whatever, whatever part of Japan you happen to visit, if you see a forerunner running around over there, it's going to be called the Hilux Surf. So yeah. But anyways, that's pretty much what we have here. So we got the main chassis, the tires, the wheels, the body, and also the couple electronics and gears over here. The only electronics I'm seeing here is just a couple of uh, copper tabs, springs, probably for the batteries or something, uh, and the motor. So, And uh, actually, this actually quite reminded me, just, <laughs> just actually, I just realized this right now that this is actually reminding me back when those, uh, I remember back in the early 2000s when I was a kid, that we have one of these little four-wheel drive toys that you just plug a single AA battery on it and you just flick a switch and then it, and it runs uh, on its own and then when you turn it off you can just move it back and forward like a you know push along toy and then when you turn it on it will uh, there's a clutch mechanism and then the car will drive on its own which is pretty cool I, I thought back then it was like the most that's like the coolest thing I've ever seen you see a remote a battery powered little uh, car or just running around that was from the early 2000s i remember that so i think uh this is also the best way to actually relive my childhood memories not only just that but also build one for myself so anyways enough of me uh, rambling about that so that's the contents for the tamiya toyota hilux surf also known as the third generation toyota forerunner so anyways, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. I will be posting a uh, photo compilation of building this thing. So it looks like I don't need to build, uh, not build, uh, paint anything here. So yay. Um, but on the other Forerunner thing I just unboxed, uh, that will require some painting. I do have the brushes for it. I do have the thinner. I'm just, just waiting for Tamiya paint to uh, to come, arrive in the mail. So I got I got them through Amazon. I ordered it through Amazon, so I'll be waiting. I'll be waiting for a couple of days to have those things arrive. Aside from that, I am done. Uh, be on the lookout for a photo compilation of this of me building this truck. So I hope you guys enjoyed.